okay let's create one web uh, java application java okay first of all let's create three reference mm, let's say connection then we have statement then result set okay all three are belongs to java dot sql package so you can simply write java dot sql dot star okay to connect with uh, database first step is to loading the driver first of all uh, let's write code for exception handling that is try and d catch exception fine uh, first step is to load the driver for particular database okay for that we have class class uh, it has one for name method which is a static method and let me write the driver name that is com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver okay d is the capital then after loading the driver next step is to establish a connection with the database to create connection we have connection object over here so i will use it mm. I will use driver manager class that is driver manager dot get connection okay again get connection is a static method and it will accept three parameter the first parameter is the path to the database the second parameter is for the username and third one is for the password it's showing some error message that is com okay that is it's con fine so uh, path will be we are using jdbc api so jdbc colon then specify the database name currently we are connecting with mysql then server name that is localhost colon port number by default 3306 is there then slash and the database name in our case our database name is std then second parameter is a username for the mysql that is root and password will, will be null so i'm not specifying it now we have lo uh, we have write code for loading the driver uh, second statement for establishing a connection now the third step is to write a statement okay to execute statement we need statement object we have created reference over here now we will ob obtain connection to that particular database and we will execute the particular statement for that i will write st is equal to con dot create statement okay this statement will create one statement object now let me execute the exact query to execute query i'll write st dot execute query and my query will be here that is select star from stood underscore info table okay and the semicolon so this statement will execute the query and return the result set okay i have created reference for result set over here so i'll assign it rs is equal to st dot execute query so whatever the result of this particular query is written to the rs object now let's process this rs means let's process the result for that 
I will use while loop while rs dot see it has a navigational method like last next previous is first is last okay I will use next then for printing purpose I will use system out dot println let me print id first so id okay our result uh, this result set object will contain the result so we need to retrieve the data from it for that purpose we have get triple x method i will rs dot get int means integer why int because the data type of the first column is integer okay same way now i will retrieve student name okay so for uh, for that name field we have data type worker2 means string data type so i will use get string method okay and the column number will be 2 fine you can also specify the column name over here rather than specifying college uh, column index okay now let me give it um, backslash n backslash t okay okay now uh, before we execute this code we require this particular class that is the driver class okay so which which is known java standard so we require to add one jar file external jar file to add external jar file from the project go to the library right click on the library then click on the add jar okay as soon as you click on the jar we require my sql connector fine uh, you can locate this in see if you have installed netbeans then you will locate it in program files netbeans then it will be in id and modules and in modules will in ext so here is there mysql connector jar file so you don't need to externally download it if you have installed netbeans then it already there then click on the ok as you can see this jar file will be executed and it will contain this number of classes fine now just right click and run the file but before we run the file we need to create database for that purpose we have php my admin over here now let me create one database database name will be stood okay stood here is stood now let me give table name that is stood info and i will require two column first one is id second one is name first one is data type integer second one is worker size will be 2 and size will be 10 ok after creating student info let insert some record yes. 1 yeah. ok as you can see one record is inserted let me insert again one record that is 2 and r so two record is there now let's switch to netbeans now let me execute this right click and run okay as you can see record are displayed over here mm, it's not displaying in a proper format uh, let me remove 
now let's run it again okay so this is the simple tutorial to connect java with mysql don't forget to add this jar file otherwise you will receive an error message okay